In this video, I will tell you about the demand supply equilibrium with respect to some questions. For example, I am starting with a very common format that is a simple linear demand curve model which I have one equation and then you need to solve. For example, Q equal to 10 minus P. Q equal to 10 minus P. From this, uh, we can say that it's a demand curve because Y, key, P and Q are in two sides and they have separate sides. This is called the demand function. That is QD and Q is equal to minus 10 plus 2P. Minus 10 plus 2P is the supply. So what happens in a demand supply equilibrium that obviously Q is equal to QD solve it like 10 minus p equal to minus 10 plus 2p so this will come here so 20 equal to 3p p equal to 20 by 3 so this is your equilibrium price when we write the equilibrium we just put a star so you put this p star in this equation you will get qd also so 10 minus 20 by 3 10 minus so that is 30 minus 20 by 3 so this is also 10 by 3. So quantity demanded is 10 by 3, that is 3.33 units and quantity in the price is 6.33. Okay, now you can ask me, sir, how the demand quantity is in fraction? Obviously, it's like 3 kg 33 gram. Okay, so this is the formula. Now, a non linear case, non linear demand curve and its solution. Demand curve with a non linearity. So, like Q equal to Qd equal to 3 minus p square and us equal to for example 6p minus 4. So how to solve it? So this one is a non-linear one and this one is a linear one. So solving is again Qd equal to Qs at equilibrium. So 3 minus p square equal to 6p minus 4. This will give you a quadratic equation plus 6p minus 4 minus 3 so minus 7. So P square 6P plus P minus 7 or P taking common. Okay, so this would be 7 on the 7, sorry. So P, P plus 7 minus 1, P plus 7. You will get it that P equal to 1 or minus 7. As we know, that price is obviously greater than 0, that price is positive. So you take P equal to 1 and put it here. So QD equal to 3 minus 1 square, that is 2, or QS of also 6 into 1 minus 4, that is 2. So in both the cases, you will get 2. So the answer is Q equal to 2 and P equal to 1 in case of a nonlinear demand. So that's all about the equilibrium structure. Now there is another style called a two variable structure. What is happening for a two variable demand curve pattern? Okay, so this one is a very advanced demand supply pattern. For example, you have QD equal to QD1. For example, it's a two market case. QD equal to 10 minus 2P1 plus P2. QD2 equal to 15 minus P1 minus P2. 15 plus P1 minus P2. QS1 equal to minus 2 plus 3P1. And QS2 equal to uh, minus 1 plus 2P2. If this is the format. Most of the cases people, you get confused whether to add this demand and solve this supply or solve it. No, the basic process is you have to do it as QD1 equal to QS1 and QD2 equal to QS2. Solve it separately and find it. I'm showing you how. For example, QD1 equal to QS1 that is first and third. So that is 10 minus 2P1 plus P2 equal to minus 2 plus 3P1. So you have you can do it like 12 and this P will go there, P1 plus P2, one equation and utilizing these two, you can find another 15 P1 minus P2 minus 10 plus 2 P2 so this will go there, minus P plus 3 P2 and this is minus 16, so this is your equation 2 beyond your job is to solve them only, so I am solving them P1 minus 3, P2 equal to minus 16 and 5, P1 plus P2 equal to 12. So multiplying with 5, 
this portion gone. So minus 16 P2 equal to minus 92. So P2 equal to 92 by minus 16 that is 46 by 8 that is 23 by 4. Okay. So price of second good is 23 by 4. You can put this in any equation and you keep on finding the other values. For example, putting this in the equation, uh, we can find out the value of P1. So solving, you can write the P1 value uh, should be 50. P1, 5P1 plus P2 equal to 12. Putting this value in this pattern, like 23 by 4, you will get the value of P1. And then putting this P1 and P2, you will get it. QD1 and QS1. Putting this value P1 will get you like 52 by 14. And after putting these values in the format, you will get the other solutions. So this is the format of the one supply equilibrium for one variable, for two variable, and two market, and linear and non-linear cases. Practice all this uh, from the books like Chiang, like Silverberg, like Hanson Kwan, and you will find it very easy while solving the exam. Thank you.